Welcome to the future of spelling. My name is to link a lot, as I like to link a lot. Linking is a fun and easy way to remember things by trying to find a connection. A link! Right? I'm the missing link. The Neanderthal man, we'll come back to that later in this, uh, in this lesson. Now, before I go any further, I have a sort of theme in each, uh, each lesson, I've got, you know what? A couple of shout-outs. A couple of shout-outs. 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 <laughs> and for the new viewers, that is shout-outs. Shout-outs. Children have thought of links and sent them in to me, and they've earned themselves a badge. And they get one of these. And they get, if not, ne never one of those. Never those. One of these. Not one of those. One of these. One of these. One of these. One of these. Oh, that'll do. Stop it. Stop it. The first one up is from a girl called Evelyn, who's always tuning in every Friday at five. So Link Up Live Friday at five. She always tunes in with her family. And she's thought of one for campaign. The spelling of campaign. The ending. Look at this word campaign. Look. That ending is a nightmare. Campagna. 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 What? Oh, come on, spelling. <laughs> really tricky word. Really, really difficult. And champagne is A-G-N-E, isn't it? It's a French word. Of course, campaign. Now, she said, my parents are always on a, a mission, on a campaign to get us outdoors more often. Getting away from our gadgets. Oh, we love our gadgets. We love our gadgets. She said, we are going to go to a camp again in green Norway. A camp again in green Norway. Norway obviously is beautiful with the fjords and there's lots of uh, outdoor space in Norway for sure. Uh, camp again in green Norway. Camp, C-A-M-P, A of again in green Norway. The I of in, the G of green and the N of Norway. Camp, I like it from a seven year old. I think she's seven. Forgive me if you're older than that, F. Apologies if you're older than that. Maybe eight, I'm sorry. Or 27. Oh, stop it. Anyway. Nice work. I like it. My one for campaign is the IG I find is really tricky. There. So I'm going to do a big campaign to get linking around the world. Okay. A big campaign. The IG of big, the IG of campaign. I think that would be enough. You can probably guess the ending if you know the IGs there. Anyway, you pick the one that works for you. If they don't work for you, think of your own. All right. And send them in to me, my own sort of badge. We'll come back to that later. And the next one up is from Holly, or as I call her, Holly Holster. She's got two links. She's already earned, I think, about four or five badges. Five badges, maybe? She goes, in, she goes into uh, Link a lot live, but also she loves linking and sending in links all the time. Holly loves it. She can't get enough of linking. She said, the first one, this is really clever. Here's, the word is claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. Look at that word. Okay, Klaus, claustrophobia. Claustrophobia is the fear of small or confined spaces. Claustrophobia, phobia is a fear. Okay, and she spotted. In fact, let's see if you can spot something here. She spotted a word at the beginning. You may recognise the word at the beginning. Next to her, another word backwards. Let's see if you can see if you can spot this. Okay, a word at the beginning. Next to her, another word backwards. Let's put it on the clock here. Let's put it on that clickety clock. That clickety clock. That clickety clock. Here. We. Go. Did you see them? The two words? She spotted claws of Santa Claus and then port, port backwards. Claws of Santa Claus and port backwards. Really well spotted if you spotted that. And she said, now you put it into a sentence, the link. Okay, you've seen the bits that help you with the spelling. You now put it into a catchy sentence. It's the second part of linking. She said, Santa Claus has a fear of like confined spaces. He wants to go down a chimney when he's a bit overweight and too many pies, too many pies, okay. Goes down a small chimney, doesn't like uh, the confined spaces, but he's determined to get down to the bottom to give the, give the presents, but also get a mince pie and a glass of port. Right, a glass of port. A cheeky glass of port. Therefore, Santa Claus, fear of claustrophobia, Port backwards is trop. Claws next to trop. Claws next to trop. Port backwards. That's really good. That's a really, and that gets the meaning of the word as well. It's an excellent link. It's a really good one, Holly Holster. It's an excellent, excellent, tremendous link. And the other one was for the spelling of maintenance. Here's the word maintenance. Maintenance. 
Can you see a word at the beginning and then next to another word? Let's put it on the clock again, on that clock. A word at the beginning next to another small word. Here we <laughs> go. See the words? Main and ten. You've got Anne at the end, but I think the ending's not too tricky. And she's also, she's got um, Main ten. She's got Nan as well. Nan is in there. Nan. So Main, Ten, and Nan. All these words you spotted. So right, my Nan thinks her maintenance man is tremendous. His name is Dan. Dan, the man, the maintenance man, is tremendous at what he does. Gives him market, gives him 10 out of 10 for his work. Gives him 10 out of 10 for his work. Main, Ten, and then Nan. Okay, all right, there it is. Good work, Holly Holster. Two badges on their merry way for you, Holly Holster. Keep these links coming. I love these links, they're tremendous. Now, the lesson today, lesson 42, lesson, lesson 42 is science words. Words to do with science. And we'll start off with, obviously, the word Butter. Oh, stop it. No, the word, the word science itself. Science. This is that, that C at the beginning. And then the C at the end, of course. The two C's. Tricky. The rest of it is pretty straightforward, I think. I think so, really. I think you should be covering the rest of it. Over. To my link. Science. The second letter and the second last letter are two C's. The number two sounds like the word two, the letter C sounds like the word C. Science fiction fans love to see into the future. To see into the future. <laughs> My eyebrows, tremendous eyebrows, aren't they? They certainly make up for the lack of hair on top. Good eyebrows. Sorry about that, you can come out from behind the sofa now. I would make a good alien, wouldn't I? With the old antennae, there were those, and then the biggly, 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 a big fat eye. I'd be a really good alien, a tremendous alien. Anyway, to see into the future, two C's. Also, let's get the word back up, science. Now, did I see you in that scene, in that science fiction film last week? Did I see you, was it you, in that scene, in the science fiction film last week? Here's the word science. Get rid of the I and C. Did I see you? Get rid of the I. Get rid of the C. Scene. Scene. Act two, scene one. Really difficult word. Scene is a really hard word. Banani mall, right? Anyway, what was in my cereal this morning? No ideas. Anyway, let's move on. The next word up is instrument you get many instruments in the science laboratory instrument now can you see a word in the middle here a five letter word to do with a different type of instrument let's put you on that clock here we go did you see it did you did you over to my link Bring. Instruments. You will find inside this word the word strum, an extremely satisfying word to say. Strum, strum. I can think of four instruments that you can strum a banjo, a ukulele, a mandolin, and of course, a guitar. Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple, a great song. In the 70s when I had some hair, but a head banging, but not anymore, unfortunately. So instrument, strum inside instrument. There's also the T-R-U-M of trumpet in the word, and the word men at the end. So there's trum, trumping, what is that one? Trumpet and men, all sorts of stuff, but I've gone for strum. Have you spotted that? Nice work. Well done for spotting the word strum. The next one up is 
technology. You get science and technology. Science and technology. Technology. I've done this one before. I've done a couple of these before. No harm in showing them again. For about a month or so back. Technology. I mean, you know, that's the H there. What is that H doing? What is the H doing? Ooh, it's tricky. I've done an abbreviation for a country. That's what I've done. Over. To my link. Technology. C-H-N, which is the abbreviation for China, is next to O-L-O, -O, that looks like a pair of eyes and a nose of a rocket scientist. Is China leading the way in technology? That was a rocket sound. Rubbish. Rubbish. The worst rocket impression ever. Hopeless. Now, you may think CHN. Why isn't it CHI? Why isn't that the abbreviation for China? CHI, the first three letters. It's because Chile, alphabetically, is ahead of China. So Chile gets CHI, and China is old. I like China. You've got to take the N, right? Not the L. Take the L, take the L, take the N. So it's CHN. I love this one. There are three countries beginning with CH. Chad, Chile, China, alphabetically. Chad Chili China, or as I like to say, Chad Chili China. 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 Gotta be happy with that. We love that one. That's great. <laughs> right, the next one up is. Lightning. Lightning. Now you'd have thought, where's the E after the T? Lightning, to lighten the load, to lighten the load. Lightening, why isn't there, where's the E? Where is the E, I mean, come on. Over to my link. Lightning, you would have thought there'd be an E after the T to lighten something to lighten the load. But there's not. There's no E. So there are nine letters, not ten. You get a lightning bolt. And then you get Usain Bolt, who can run the 100 metres in under 10 seconds, which will remind you that there are under 10 letters in the word. Usain Bolt, superstar. Legend, the best, ridiculously fast, and tall as well. Not many sprinters are that tall. Tremendous, we love him. I've got to stop saying tremendous. I say tremendous too often, far too often. Stop saying tremendous, stop it. Come in, stop it. The next one up is gauge. A gauge is a measuring instrument with a display, like you get a, a thermometer is a temperature gauge. All right. What can you see in the middle here, which is a, an abbreviation for a word which you all know? Let's start. That clock. Did you see it? Over to my link. Gauge. The A-U-G are the first three letters of the word August. In the United Kingdom, the temperature gauge is at its highest in July and August. August. Have you spotted the AUG of August? Nice work. And if you can't spell August, we've got to think of a link for that first, which you'll find on the app, level two, the Weird Wordsworth bundle. Weird Wordsworth, good name. Some great names for bundles. Dario Dickens, of course, Spaghetti Shakespeare. Some tremendous names for these bundles. I love doing it. It's fantastic. The next one up is medicine. Or some people would like to say medicine. But I prefer, I'm, I'm in the two syllable camp. Medicine. Some in the three syllable camp. Medicine. I like medicine. Medicine? No. Medicine? Yeah. It's up to you. And I think. Medicine will win the day in the UK, because I like the rhyme. Win the day in the UK, I think. It's a close call. 
Now, what can you see at the start here? Quite a big word, which is an abbreviation for another word. Can you see a word at the start here? Let's put you on that clock. Did you? Let's find out. Medicine. The word medic is followed by the word in, which is followed by the letter E, which is the first letter of the word emergencies. A medic in emergencies uses medicine. A medic in emergencies. Is it in? You know it is. A medic is short for medical practitioner. Medicine, not medicine, right? You can do it if you want, but not for me. Medicine. So that was the last word in today's show about science and all words to do with science. And there's more to come. That was a little taster today. If you've got any good links, let me know. Send them into my uh, the usual social media outlets. You can win yourself a badge. There you go, the CIA have got special agents, the CIA have got special agents who hunt down criminals in action or try and stop crime in America. A good one. Normally you dip your biscuit into a cup. In this case, you dip the cup into the biscuit. There is a cup in the biscuit. The C is the handle, the U is the cup. A goodie. We love that one. And of course, we've got the man himself, Sir Linkalot. Sir Linkity Doodah, Sir Linkity Day. And also we have on this Friday, on my Insta channel, we've got Sir Lingot Live, Friday at five. Lots of fun for the parents and the children to join in. Thinking of links, I challenge you to think of links. I uh, also request links. I had some requests this, uh, last week for uh, the triangles, uh, scaling triangle, isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle for mode, mean and median. We did some world capital stuff, some history stuff, science, great fun. So you must join in, come and watch on Friday. Sir Lingot Live. Friday at five. Is it in? You know it is. The name of the app is Salinkalot. Is it in? You know it.